Now, almost five years ago, longer in fact, going back to really 2011, 2012, many of us in this room, Paddy, many others, collectively we embarked upon a generational programme of change. At times it feels like five minutes, other times it feels like 20 years, such has been the, the challenges over that time. It's a journey that still continues and a journey that's going to continue for many years to come. But in creating a single police service for the people of Scotland, I am absolutely confident we have the right model in place to ensure every citizen, every family and every community the length and breadth of this country has equal access to a local policing model which is right for them and their needs and to a consistently high level of specialist support which can be accessed nationally when required. It's a holistic model of safety and security that, in my view, did not exist prior to the creation of Police Scotland. Now, the process of change is significant and complex. Have we got everything right? No, we haven't. Have we engaged and consulted as broadly and widely as we could have? No, we didn't. But although the operating environment evolves, the constant for me that remains in policing is that policing is about people. The men and women within the organisation and the people and the communities that we serve. Colleagues have heard me say this in the past, but I firmly believe it. Policing is not what we do, it's what we are. Every minute of every day, your, your status as a police officer, a member of police staff, it sustains you and carries you through, and it's part of your civic duty to discharge. I have previously stated, internally and externally, that in the early days of Police Scotland, which was a time of rapid change in a very, very compressed time frame, the organisation, and I was part of that, I was there, was too focused on procedures and process and not on our people. Now, as a consequence, our officers, staff, also some of the communities, felt that change was happening to them, not with them. Now, earlier this year, and reflective of that experience and that learning, the service embarked upon an enormous consultation process as part of uh, the build of the 10-year strategy that, that we've heard. And that level of engagement, that level of listening, I think in itself has great virtue. I think it was Ronnie Flanagan, certainly it was, Ronnie, it was Sir Ronnie that said to me, and I, I recall him saying, that the need, the need for that engagement and consultation is critical, because policing is too important to be left to the police. Everybody must contribute and be part of that. 